Thanks for purchasing and taking part in these online yoga sessions that I'm providing. So just a couple of bits of guidance when you're doing this at home, making sure that the area that you're uh, using to do your yoga in um, is as tidy as it can be, or if there are any objects like a coffee table or a sofa that can't be moved or a lampshade above you, just making sure that you're aware of where those objects are and you're adjusting as you need to. Also as well, make sure that you're feeling okay uh, before doing yoga so you're if you're feeling ill at all or either headache cold or, or whatever it might be if you're not feeling quite right then maybe delaying doing your yoga practice until later in the day or another day take all of my instructions that i give you as guidance so if it doesn't feel right or if there's any pain or discomfort then only coming into the posture to a point that it's comfortable for you or you know you can choose um, not to come into the posture or you can choose to take a break as you need to I will offer options and modifications to some of the postures but if they don't quite work for you then feel free to make further adjustments that seem um, sensible for your own body so thank you for joining in and enjoy hello hope you are well we will start this week's hour of yoga with a short meditation seated cross-legged or seated with your legs straight out in front so in a position that's not too much effort to hold your trunk of the body, the torso upright, hands resting in your lap and we'll close the eyes or have a soft gaze if you prefer. And just allowing your breath to settle and regulate after moving your body into this position. start to take our attention to our breathing. So we're just being aware of the gentle flow of air as it comes in and out of the body. Feel the air into the nostrils, you then feel the chest expand and then the chest gently contracts as the air leaves the lungs back out through the nostrils. I'm just going to keep our focus on that process. Air coming in through the nostrils, so there's the sensation as it enters, chest expands, contracts and then the air is out through the nostrils again. So if you notice that your attention drifts at all, or a thought or a sound, as soon as you've noticed that that has happened, then we'll bring our attention back to our breathing. And you won't worry about how many times that happens.
we'll start to take some deeper breaths. And then opening the eyes. From here, we'll extend up again, lead with the chest forwards, fingertips down, head hanging, arms, shoulders relaxing. Pausing here for a few breaths, maybe shuffling the fingertips a little bit further away if you're comfortable to do that. And then shuffle the hands back, press yourself up. We'll change the cross of the legs. And again, hands on the knees, extending up, chest forwards, hands down, head hanging, pausing here. Shuffling the hands back up, placing the hands on the knees. We'll shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. We'll take them forwards, down, to the back, up, forwards and down. And we'll continue this circular movement through the shoulders. And then we'll go back in the opposite direction. and then allow your shoulder blades to relax down. From here, we'll interlace the fingers behind the back, draw the hands away, and then we'll lead with the chest and come forwards, allow the head to hang, work the hands towards the ceiling. Steady breath. Release the hands, slowly come back up. So we just come back to a seated position before we'll come back to that position once more. So we're gonna interlace the fingers behind the back, draw the hands away, Chest moves forwards, head hangs, and if you can, work the hands to the ceiling. And release the hands, and we'll come back up. We'll do seated cat-cow, so we've got the hands on the knees. So we're gently pressing forwards as your back arches and your head drops down. And then we'll gently draw on the knees to bring the chest forwards, take the gaze up to the ceiling. And then the back arches and the head drops, bringing the chest forwards, taking the gaze up, and continuing that movement. Back arches, head drops, chest moves forwards, take the gaze up. So we'll just continue that movement for two or three more rounds. So we inhale as you bring the chest forwards, as you take your gaze up, breathe out as your back arches and your head drops. And then we'll come back upright. We'll change the cross of the legs. So we've got the other leg, the other shin in front. We're gonna, in a moment, we're gonna inhale the arms up. We're gonna breathe out and the arms come down to one side. We'll turn the head to the other. So as, when we're bringing the arms down, if we can keep them sort of straight and rigid, as opposed to just allowing them to, to flop to one side. So I'll say, inhale the arms out, breathe out, arms to the left, head to the right, or whichever one it is. So from our seated position, we take a breath in and out, we'll breathe in, and then out. Inhale, raise the arms. So as we breathe out, the arms to the right, turn the head to the left. Next breath in, inhaling, raising the arms up, gaze back to center. Breathe out, arms to the left, head to the right. Inhaling, back to center, raising the arms. Breathe out, arms to the right, head to the left. Inhaling back to centre, breathing out, arms to the left, head to the right. So continuing this movement for a few rounds, so you're just following the flow of air in and out of your body, inhaling centre, breathing out as you turn, take the arms to one side, turn the head to the other. And the next time the arms come to the left, we'll keep them there for a moment and then we'll come back to centre, taking the gaze forwards. We'll place the right hand on the left leg, raise the left arm, reach up. Through the left fingertips, reach over the top to the right side. And then we're coming 
them back up. Left hand across, raise the right, reach up and over. And then back to center, right hand across to your left leg, reaching your left arm up, reaching up and over to the right side. And then back to center, left hand across to the right leg, reaching up and over. Coming back to center, the right hand comes down. From here to hands and knees. So we come to all fours. And then from our all fours position, we're gonna come into puppy pose. So we're gonna keep the hips above the knees, shuffle the hands away. So the arms are out straight, shoulder width apart and parallel. Head is between the arms, fingers are spread and the hands gently press forwards. And as they press forwards, maybe the bum moves a bit in the other direction. You'll be aware of the stretch into the chest, into the side body. And then we'll inhale here. Breathe out, allow the chest to sink. And then a slight lift up, pop the forearms down, shoulders move forwards above the elbows. Holding here in our modified forearm plank. And then taking the bum back, lifting the forearms up, head between the arms. We'll take a breath in, breathe out, allow the chest to sink. And a slight lift up, pop the forearms down, shoulders move forwards above your elbows. And then pressing the bum back, hips above the knees, lifting the forearms up, head between the arms. Taking a breath in, breathing out, chest sinks. And then a slight lift. Forearms down, shoulders forwards above the elbows. And from here, if you can, we're going to curl the toes under and straighten the legs into a forearm plank. Or keep the knees on the mat if you prefer. From here, we're going to guide the left knee towards the left arm. And then back. Right knee towards your right arm. And back. Left knee towards your left arm. And back. Right knee, right arm. And back. Once more on each side, left knee to left arm, and back, right knee to the right arm, and then back. From here, we're going to come into side plank, so we're bringing the left forearm across, turning to face to the right. By all means, have that left knee down if you need it. So right fingertips to ceiling, right forearm back to the mat, back to forearm plank. Turning the chest to the left, so the right forearm comes across in front of you as you raise up your left arm. Left forearm comes back down, back to forearm plank. From here, we're gonna press the forearms into the mat as if you're trying to push it forwards to press the bum to the ceiling. Allow the head to hang so the gaze is to the back of the mat. And shoulders move forwards, forearm plank. Press the forearms into the mat, press the bum back. Head hanging. And shoulders forwards, forearm plank. Press through the forearms, pressing the bum back, head hanging. And then we'll come into child's pose. So knees come down wide, toes towards each other, bum to heels. Pausing here for a few breaths. Slowly back to all fours. We're going to go through a few rounds of downward dog plank and then upward dog. So a quick demo of upward dog because we don't do it too often. So from plank I'll ask you to extend one set of toes then the other. The gaze moves forwards. Hips move towards the mat but the legs don't contact the mat. And then from there we'll turn the toes over to come back to downward dog. So from our all fours position we'll curl the toes under, lift the knees. So the fingers are spread, you feel the heel of the hand contacting the mat, and just gently clawing the fingertips into the mat. So when we're pressing the hands in, we've got the heel of the hands and the fingertips pressing to the mat. Shoulders move forwards to plank. Extend one set of toes, then the other, 
Gaze move forwards. Turn the toes over, back to downward dog. And shoulders forwards to plank. Extending one set of toes and then the other. Gaze forwards. And back to downward dog. So turning the toes back over, pressing through the hands, through the tips of the fingers. Shoulders forwards to plank. And again, we'll extend, take the gaze forwards. And back to downward dog. And then from here, we're going to pop the knees down, return to an all fours position. So we'll do a variation of a side stretch. So from all fours, we're going to have your left leg extend out to the left side. So hopefully you've got space to do the left leg out to the side. Lifting up your left arm, twist to the left, reaching left fingertips up. Left hand comes down and then to the right, reaching right fingertips up and right hand down. To the left, reaching up, left hand down, to the right, reaching up, and then right hand down, bring the left leg back, right leg goes out to the side, lifting up your right hand, reach up right fingertips to ceiling, right hand down, twisting to the left, reaching up, and then left hand down, to the right, right hand down, and once more to the left. Then bringing your left hand down, bring your right leg back to all fours, take knees wide, toes towards each other, bottom to heels. Slide the hands away. Fingers spread, hands gently pressing forwards. Inhale as you come up, bring your shoulders forwards. Breathe out as you come back down. Inhaling, coming up. And breathing out back. And we'll pause next time we're upright or we're on all fours. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, two downward dog. Curling the toes under, pressing through the hands, pressing your bum to the ceiling, feeling and imagining that upper body lengthening. Stepping forwards, folding forwards. Inhaling up, hands together above your head. So some sun salutations. We breathe out, take the hands down. We'll take a breath in and out, we'll breathe in. And then out, inhale up, breathe out forwards. Fingertips to shins as you lift to flat back. Hands to mat and back to plank. All the way down, extending toes, inhaling cobra. Breathing out down, curl the toes under, pressing up and back into downward dog. Stepping forwards. Folding forwards, inhaling up, hands together above your head, breathing out as you come down. Inhaling up, breathing out forwards. Inhale, lifting flat back, hands to mat, back to plank. All the way down, extending toes, inhale cobra, breathe out down, and back to downward dog. Stepping forwards, folding forwards, inhaling up, hands together above your head, breathing out, coming down, inhaling up, breathing out forwards, inhale, flat back, breathing out, hands to mat, back to plank, all the way down, extend toes, inhale, cobra, breathe out, down, Curl the toes under, back to downward dog. Walk the hands back to your feet to forward fold. Inhaling up, hands together above your head. Breathing out down. Taking your arms down. So we'll take a step forward with the right foot. Arms nice and loose as you inhale up in front. Breathe out back. Inhale front. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale, inhale, 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 exhale, inhale. Allowing the arms to drop left foot forwards, back with your right, inhale up, breathe out to the back, inhale front, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Allow the arms to drop, feet a bit wider than hip width, keeping the movement going, arms through from one side to the other. Lifting the arms up a bit higher. We'll allow the arms to drop, feet to hip width, bend the legs, inhale up, breathe out down, inhaling up, breathing out down, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhale, inhale, and allow your arms to drop. So, excuse me, in this uh, first sequence, just a quick demonstration. So there'll be a point at which, so we'll come into lunge, we'll raise the arms. So from here, I'm going to ask you to breathe out, lead with the chest forwards, reach forwards through the fingertips, so something that we've done before. As we come up, we're going to bring the upper body, the arms upright, but bend that back leg. And then we'll come up and forwards. Well, actually, sorry missing out a step. So we're gonna, he says, try to keep his balance. So we raise up, forwards, coming back up, bending the leg. From here, we're gonna come forwards again. I'm gonna bring, in this case, it's my right arm coming down. So both arms down, my left arm will continue as it comes up. And then that arm's gonna come back the way it came and we'll raise up. So we're doing a variation of a, a lunge twist. So the arm, is not going across to the outside of the left leg. Just hope, help it um, flows a little bit more in this way. So if we're at the top of the mat, feet are hip width. So we're going to extend up, stride back with the right foot to lunge, so a nice big step back, raise the arms up, take a breath in, breathing out. So you're bringing the chest forwards, reaching forward through your fingertips. So and as you come up. We're going to bend the right leg, take your gaze forwards. We'll come all the way forward. So the both hands come down, the right hand, maybe the fingertips are on the mat. Keep that left hand going so the left fingertips are up to the ceiling and you're looking to the left. The left arm comes back the way it came, both arms raise up. Lead with the chest forwards, reaching forwards. Coming back up, the right leg bends the gazes forwards. Straighten the right leg. Folding forwards again to the right hand, pointing down. Keep that left arm going, left fingertips up. Left arm comes back down and raising up. Once more, leading with the chest forwards, reaching forwards. Coming back up, you're going to the right leg, gazes forwards. Straighten the right leg, leading with the chest. Both hands come down, right fingertips on the mat. Keeping that left arm going, left fingertips to the ceiling as you turn to the left. Left arm comes back where it came raising your arms up. From here, we're going to turn the palms forwards, hands and right knee down onto the mat. So from here, we're going to shuffle the left foot to the left edge of the mat, hands down, bringing the hips forwards. So where you feel that resistance, maybe the hips won't come any more further, won't come forwards anymore. Left knee, just making sure left knee's above the left ankle. Hands down, head hanging, pausing here for a few breaths. So your hands are either flat, maybe you're bending at the elbows, maybe you can get a forearm down. So a couple more breaths in this position. Walking the hands back so we can work towards straightening our left leg. Move the left leg over to the right a little bit. We'll fold forward from here, so we're going to extend up. Chest forwards, 
fingertips down, either leg or to the ground, head hanging. Steady breath. We're going to keep that right hand where it is. Either the fingertips are down or the hand is flat. We're then going to lift up the left hand, twist to the left, reaching left fingertips up. Left hand back down on the mat, and into the right, reaching up, right hand down, once more on each side, twisting to your left, reaching up through your left fingertips, left hand down, and into the right, reaching up through your right fingertips. Pop your right hand down. Left knee moves forward, so we can bend the leg. Take the left leg back to return to all fours. And then from here, we'll come to downward dog. Curl the toes under, pressing the bum back, head is hanging. So we're going to do um, some knee to elbow. So we're going to lift up the right foot, press the right heel to the ceiling. Bend the right leg, bring the right knee towards the right arm. So the shoulders will move forward above the wrist. And then press back, right heel to ceiling. And bending that right leg as you bring the right knee forwards again. And then pressing right heel back. And then right knee forwards again. Pressing that right heel back. Popping the right foot down, returning to downward dog. So we're going to do the same on the left side. Lift up your left foot, press left heel to ceiling. <coughs> Bring the left knee towards your left arm, so shoulders move forwards again, pressing left heel to ceiling, left knee towards left arm, left heel ceiling, and once more, left knee towards left arm, left heel to the ceiling, left foot back to the mat. Resetting in your downward dog, from here, we're going to make our way to crescent lunge. So we're going to lift up the left foot, bend the left leg, step the left foot forwards, bring it up with the hand if you need to. Right heel is off the mat as you raise up. Lowering your arms, right arm under the left. Give us the palms if you can. So we're going to come into warrior three with the arms in this position. Press off the right foot, weight with the left leg folding forwards. Bend the left leg, step the right foot back, and we'll make our way to warrior two. So if you need to just adjust your position slightly, feel free to do that. So left leg is bent, looking forwards over the left hand. Straighten the left leg, raise your arms. Keep the right arm alongside your chest. Left arm reaches forwards, back of the left hand down. So right fingertips are pointing the same direction as the top of your head. Raise up your left arm parallel with your right. From here, reverse warrior. So left knee moves forwards as you come up. Right hand down behind, look up towards left hand. Back to warrior two. Strengthen the left leg, raise the arms. So again, the right arm stays alongside your head. Left arm in front, reach forwards. Back of the left hand down. Right fingertips pointing same direction as top of the head. Raising your left arm parallel with your right. Reverse warrior, so left knee moves forward, we come up. Right hand down behind as you look up towards your left hand. And then back to warrior two. So through that movement once more, straightening the left leg, raise the arms. Left arm back in front reach forwards or reach towards your left side, left hand comes down, right arm alongside your head. Lifting that left arm up again so it's parallel with the right, moving that left knee forwards, we come up, reverse warrior, right hand down behind, look up towards your left hand, back to warrior two, straightening your left leg, turning your left toes in, Interlace the fingers behind the back. So we'll forward fold, so feet are happy to come a little bit further apart. We'll take them there. Draw the hands away, lead with the chest forwards. Head hanging, working hands to the ceiling. 
allow the hands to come down onto the mat. So hopefully you can get hand or fingertip down. Keep the left hand where it is, lift up the right hand, twist to the right, and right hand down to the left. Reach up through the left fingertips, left hand down to the right, right hand down to the left. Reaching up, left hand comes down. Taking the hands back to the hips if you can and come back upright. From here we're going to take a bend in the legs and raise the arms. Straighten the legs and your arms come back down. Bending the legs, raising the arms. And straightening the legs, the arms come down and come up. Keeping the bend in the legs this time will allow the hands to come down to the thighs. So we'll keep the uh, right hand on that right thigh, raise left arm up, reaching up and over, so side stretching, left fingertips reach to the right, keeping the bend in the legs, coming back up, left hand down, raise the right, reach up and over, and coming back up, right hand down, raising your left, reaching up and over, back up, left hand down, raising the right arm up, reaching up and over. So as we come up, we're going to straighten both legs, raise the arms, from here back to warrior two, so turning your left foot, looking forwards over the top of the left hand, from here to downward dog. Both hands top of the mat, left foot back, into downward dog. <coughs> So we're going to do, um, as we did earlier, a few rounds of shoulders forwards to plank, up dog, back to downward dog. So we'll bring the shoulders forwards, extend the toes, take the gaze forwards, turn the toes back to downward dog, shoulders forwards to plank, extending your toes, taking the gaze towards the hips, hip towards the mat, turn the toes back to downward dog. Shoulders forwards to plank, extending your toes, taking your gaze forwards, back to down dog, pausing in down dog, from here to warrior one, so we're lifting up the left foot, bend the left leg, bring that left foot forward, the right foot is flat as you raise up, from here, straighten your left leg, allow your left arm to come down, reach up, towards the ceiling. So we're leading with the chest as we come forward. We take the right hand across to the left leg, left fingertips reach towards the ceiling. Back to warrior one, raising up. We come into that again, left arm comes down, left leg straightens, reach up through the right, lead with the chest, right hand across, left fingertips reach up. Back to warrior one. So once more, Left arm down, left leg straightens, lead with the chest forwards, right hand across, left fingertips reaching up. And we'll come back up to warrior one. We're going to step into tree pose, we're going to keep the arm by the side of the head. So we're going to press off the right foot, left, sorry, right foot on the inside of your left leg. From here to our half chair pose balance, so hands come together, bend the left leg, Right leg on the left thigh, back to that previous position. So we're straightening the left leg, reaching up through the fingertips, right foot inside of the left leg. And then we'll bend the left leg, hands together. And both of these positions once more, so reaching up, repositioning your right foot. Bringing the hands down, bending your left leg, right leg, left thigh. And then we'll pop the right foot down, come to standing, arms by your side. Good, good. Hope you're doing all right with that. So we're going to run through all of that again, uh, quite a long sequence. So we're back at the top of the mat, feet hip width, extending up tall, stride back with the left foot to lunge, raising the arms up, hips, chest, forwards, breathing in. So as we breathe out, we're bringing the chest forward, reaching forward through the fingertips. And then from here, we're going to take the gaze forward to dip the left knee. 
straighten the left leg and fold forwards again. So both hands come down, the left fingertips stop when they're pointing down. We'll keep the right arm going, circling as you turn to the right, right fingertips to ceiling. The right arm comes back where it came from, raising up, taking the gaze forwards. Bring your chest forwards and reach forwards. Dip the left knee, take the gaze forwards. Straighten the left leg, folding forward. So both arms down, left arm stops, keeping the right arm going as you turn to the right, right fingertips to ceiling. Right arm comes back where it came from, raising up. Leave with the chest forwards. Left, knee, left leg bends, taking the gaze forwards. Straighten the left leg. Folding forwards, both hands down, keep the right hand going as you twist to the right, reach up through the right fingertips. Right hand comes back where it came from, we'll raise up. Turn the palms forwards, so left knee, both hands down. And from here, extending your left toes, shuffle your right foot forwards towards the right edge of the mat. Hands down, bringing the hips forward, so once they reach that point of resistance, the feeling of stretch, We'll just check right knees above right ankle. So if it isn't, we're either shuffling the foot forwards and back, allow the head to hang, pause here for a few breaths. So just a couple more breaths here. Walking the hands back so we can work towards straightening the right leg. Bring the right leg over to the left, popping the hands down, so either the fingertips or the hands are flat either side of the legs. Keep the left hand where it is as you twist to the right, reaching right fingertips up. Right hand comes down, twisting to the left, reaching up. Left hand down, to the right. Right hand down, and to the left. And then we'll pop left hand back down onto the mat, bring the hips forwards, take the right leg back. So we return to all fours, we'll come to downward dog. Pressing the bum back, head hanging. So from here, we're gonna do knee to elbow on each side. So we're gonna lift up the right foot, press the right heel to the ceiling. Bring the right knee towards your right arm and pressing the right heel back. Right knee towards your right arm, pressing right heel back. Right knee towards your right arm, pressing your right heel back. Popping your right foot down, resetting your downward dog. So we're going to lift up the left foot, press the left heel to ceiling, left knee towards your left arm, and pressing left heel back to ceiling. Left knee towards your left arm, and pressing back. Left knee towards your left arm. Once more pressing left heel to the ceiling, popping your left foot down, resetting in your downward dog. From here we're gonna to come to lunge. So we're gonna lift up left, sorry, the right foot, bend the right leg, right foot forwards, coming up, raising the arms up. Arms to horizontal, left arm under right, fingertips up, fingers to palms if you can. So from here to warrior three, press off the left foot, weight into your right leg folding forwards, he says. And then from here, we're going to bend the right leg and make our way to warrior two. So we turn that left foot out as you step it back, left arm behind, looking forwards over the right. Straighten the right leg, raise the arms. So left arm stays alongside of the head as you bring that right arm in front again, reach forwards, back of the right hand down, left fingertips pointing, same direction as top of the head. Raise your right arm parallel with your left. Reverse warrior, so the right knee moves forwards as you come up, you take the left hand down behind, turn the head to look to the right hand, and then back to warrior two. Straighten right leg, raise the arms, right arm in front, reaching forwards, back of the right hand come down, left arm alongside the head, chest is sideways on, and then reverse warrior, so the right knee moves forwards, we come up, 
sweeping that left arm behind as you take the gaze up to the right. Back to warrior two. Strengthening the right leg, raising the arms. Right arm in front, reaching forwards, back of the right hand down. Chest is sideways on. We'll raise the right arm up parallel with the left. Right knee moves forwards as you come up. Left hand down behind, turning the leg, sorry, turning the head to look towards the right hand. Back to warrior two. Straighten the right leg, allow the arms to drop. Turning the right foot in. So we're going to move forward folds. So shuffling the feet a bit further apart if they're happy to go there. Interlace the fingers, draw the hands away, lead with the chest forwards, head hanging, hands work towards the ceiling behind, holding here or pausing here for a couple of breaths. Allow the hands to come down to the mat. Lifting up your left hand twist to the left. Left hand down. To the right. Right hand down. To the left. Left hand down. To the right. And bringing your right hand down. Taking the hands back to the hips as you come up. So from here, we're going to, in a moment, bend the legs, raise the arms up at the same time, and then circle through that movement a few times. So bending the legs, raise the arms. Straightening the legs and your arms come back down. Bending the legs, raising the arms. Straightening your legs, arms down. Raising up. So we'll keep a bend in the legs, taking your hands to your hips. So we're going to have the right hand on the right thigh, raise the left arm, reach up, reach over the top to the right side, keeping that bend in the legs, coming up, left hand down, raise the right, reach up and over. And coming back, right hand down, raise the left, reach up and over. Coming back up. Left hand down, raising the right, reaching up and over. Coming back to centre, straightening the legs, returning to warrior two, so turn the right foot round, look forwards, over the top of the right hand as you raise your left hand behind. Two downward dog, both hands top of the mat. So we're gonna go through a few rounds of plank up dog, downward dog, so shoulders move forwards to plank, Extending toes, gaze forward as your hips move towards the mat. Turning the toes back to downward dog. Shoulders forward to the plank. Extending toes, gaze forwards. Turning the toes back to downward dog. Through that movement once more, so shoulders moving forward. Extending your toes to up dog. Turning your toes to downward dog. From here to warrior one, lift up the right foot, bend the right leg, right foot forwards, left foot is flat as you come up, raising your arms up. Keep the left arm in the air, right arm down, straighten right leg, reach up through the left fingertips, lead with the chest forwards, left hand to right leg, right fingertips to ceiling. Right arm comes down as you return to warrior one. And again, we'll straighten the right leg, right arm comes down. Chest move forwards, left hand across, right arm up, right fingertips to ceiling. Right arm comes down, back to warrior one. So through that once more, straighten right leg, right arm down, leading with the chest, left hand across, right fingertips to the ceiling. Right arm comes down, we raise back up to warrior one. So we're gonna step into tree pose with the arms by the side. Left foot inside of the right leg. So we're going to take hands together in front of the chest, bend the right leg, left leg onto the right thigh. And back to tree pose, so straightening right leg, reach up through the fingertips. Bending the right leg, left leg, right thigh. And then once more, reaching up, repositioning your left foot, left foot down, and the arms come down. So we're at the top of the mat, 
hands together in front of the chest. Inhaling as you take your hands up. Breathing out, folding forwards. Inhale, flat back. Hands to mat, back to plank. All the way down, extending toes. Inhale, cobra. Breathe out, down. Press to all fours. So wrist below the shoulders, knees below the hips. A few rounds of cat-cow. Tipping pelvis back. Back arches, head drops. Tipping the pelvis forward. And take the gaze forward. So we're going to continue this gentle transition from one position to the other as we start to slow the body down as we finish up our hour of yoga. Inhaling, tipping the pelvis forward, taking the gaze forward. Breathing out, tipping the pelvis back. Back arches and head drops. Pausing when you're in flat back. We'll take the knees wide, toes towards each other, bumps to heels. Sliding the hands out, fingers spread, the hands are gently pressing forward. And then inhale, come out, bring the shoulders forwards. Breathe out, back down. Inhale up, breathing out down. Pausing when you're upright, just send the shoulders, knees under hips. From here, we'll lift up the right hand, twisting to the right, right hand down, and to the left, reaching up. Left hand down and to the right. As we bring this right arm down, we're going to bring it through underneath the left. So we're in a position where we can get the right arm down and the head down. And then from there, if you, if you can come into this position, sliding your left hand away. And we'll pause here for a few breaths. If you've got tightness in the shoulders that doesn't allow you to come into this supported position or sometimes it's tightness in the upper body that doesn't allow the chest to turn maybe take a pause for a few breaths before we continue on sliding that left hand back so you can press up and we'll twist to the right once more bring the right arm through reach right fingertips up pop the right hand back on the mat Lifting up the left hand, twisting to the left. And we bring the left arm through underneath the right. So again, just taking a moment to get yourself in a position where you can get this left arm down, including the shoulder, the head down, and then sliding the right hand away. If you're comfortable to do that, or you can have the right hand closer to you with the arm bent. Pausing here. So just a couple more breaths. So sliding the right hand towards you, press yourself up, bring that left arm through, twist to the left. Left hand comes down. And then from here, we'll come to lying on our backs. So legs bent and feet flat. If you've got space to take the arms out to the side. We'll lift the feet up, and from here we're going to allow the right thigh to move towards the right side of the of the mat or on the onto the ground. So hopefully you can get that right thigh and the right leg down, and then inhale, bring the legs to centre. So the feet aren't on the ground. Breathing out, legs to the left. And as the legs come over, if that right arm wants to lift up, either keeping the right arm there or maybe bending at the elbow so you can at least get some support, some support to the ground. Inhale, legs to center. Breathe out to the right. Pausing. Inhaling up. And breathing out to the left. Keep the legs on the left for a few breaths. Inhale, centre. So once more on each side, we'll breathe out, legs to the right. Keep the legs on the right. Inhale, 
inhale, legs to the center, once more to the left, leaning out, legs to the left side, Inhale the legs to the centre, pop the feet down, arms by your side. We'll reach down with the fingertips, catch backs of the heels. So a few rounds of bridge. Inhale, lift the bum up, peel the spine up, press the hips up. Breathe out as you slowly come down. Inhaling, peel the spine up, press your hips up. Breathing out, back down. Inhaling up. Breathing out, down. Inhale, peel the spine up, press your hips up. Breathing out, back down. So we'll continue that movement. Inhaling, coming up. Breathing out, back down. Peel the spine up, press the hips up. Nice controlled, fluid movement. As you peel the spine up and as you gently allow it to come back down. Pausing next time your back is down on the mat and we'll lift up the feet and take the hands to the knees. Draw the knees towards the chest, knees apart, move away, back together, in towards the chest, apart, away, back together. So we'll continue this movement. Opposite direction. And then we'll pop the feet down arms by your side, slide your left foot away so your left leg is long, reach across with that left hand, guide the right leg to the left side, you're rolling onto the outside of your left leg, the right hand arm is on the ground on the right side, we'll pause here for a few breaths, feeling the body relax. And slowly back to the centre, switching the legs, extending the right, reach across with the right hand, guide the left leg to the right side, pausing here. Arms by your side, closing the eyes or soft gaze and just allow the body to sink down as it stops, as it relaxes in your therapeutic hour of yoga.
take some deeper breaths. Moving the fingers and toes, starting to just revive the body. Waking up again. We'll bend the legs, get the feet flat, roll to one side, press up to a seated position. Hands together, closing the eyes. So thank you all for keeping up with your yoga. I do hope you enjoy the sessions. Thank you for supporting me by buying the sessions. Namaste. I hope you all enjoyed that. Please do feel free to contact me with any messages or if you want anything clarified. Sometimes what people do is, if they're not particularly sure about a posture, they'll, it'll be mentioned to me and I'll then do a little tutorial video on that posture, which is available for free of access on my YouTube channel. So if you do have any questions, then it's, it's always a good prompt for me to maybe go over things in a little bit more detail. So thank you for watching, have a good week, and see you on screen next week.